to the 10th International Workshop on Genetic Improvement, co-located with ICSI. We have the URL for the workshop at the top of the screen, but also just in case anything goes wrong with Clouder, there's a backup uh, Zoom link, which is posted here and we'll also post in the chat. I saw a number of familiar faces, but also some new ones, at least to me. And so it's worth mentioning that we construe genetic improvement very broadly. It includes search-based efforts to improve and optimize and even repair software. And for us, applications of GI are, are broad. They include improving the efficiency of programs or decreasing their memory or energy consumption, transplanting new functionality, specializing software to a particular domain, translating between programming languages, generating multiple versions of software or perhaps diversity, repairing bugs, and a few other topics. And there are a number of summaries or surveys of genetic improvement and how it's been a bit on the rise in the last five to 10 years. And I have one example shown on the right, but there are many more. Who are we? Your co-chairs for this issue of the Genetic Improvement Workshop are Justina, Bobby, you, Emerick, me, Wes Weimer, and also special thanks as always to Bill Langdon. The plan for today, we have an exciting keynote coming up in just a few minutes. Dr. Stephanie Forrest will be presenting Engineering and Evolving Software. There are 11 paper presentations. Some are uh, smaller position paper presentations, some are longer. And uh, at the end, we're gonna have a vote for a best presentation award. Uh, this is a, a slightly larger in scope than last year where there was one keynote and five papers. I want to remind you, especially if this is one of the first Clouder things you've been to, that the time cutoffs are often done automatically. And so a question you're asking might get interrupted. We have to be careful about starting presentations. Indeed, we'll even see if I finish mine in time. And we've got that backup Zoom link again. If you like the sort of topics here at GI, you might also be interested in the APR workshop, I believe in two days. Although I can say personally, the uh, keynote there won't be as exciting as the keynote here. The schedule is listed in Clouder on the workshop webpage, and I'm not gonna go through it in detail, but I do want to point out both the 20 minute breaks and also the uh, time for presentations followed by time for discussion. So a longer paper, 15 minutes plus 10, a position paper, two plus eight, because GI has traditionally had a focus on constructive suggestions and commentary and collaborative research. And that's something we're really hoping will continue this year, that this is a workshop and it's really a place for people to talk and come together and share what we're interested in. The first thing on our agenda is a keynote from Dr. Stephanie Forrest. She works at Arizona State University directing the Biodesign Center for Biocomputation, Security and Society. And <clears throat> officially, she studies the biology of computation and the computation of biology, including work on computational immunology, computer security, automated software repair, evolutionary computation and biological modeling. She might actually be in another room and she might not be able to hear me, which will allow me to say many positive things about her. On a personal note, from a sense of self for Unix processes to randomized instruction set autom uh, emulation to automated program repair, I really think she bridges the gap between biology and computation with a focus on big, meaningful ideas. She makes it easy to learn new things about the world and bring them into your research, and she's taught me quite a bit. I'd like to encourage all of you to please join me in welcoming Dr. Stephanie Forrest for the keynote starting in just a minute. Are there any questions in the intervening uh, under a minute, especially for logistics before the keynote begins? Looks like the uh, uh, keynote will be starting in about 15 seconds. Welcome everyone. And then I am hoping that eventually as we get a little more used to Clouder, uh, we'll have more chances to comment, not just via the chat, but verbally from everyone who is interested to do so. Thank you, Steph. 